Hello everybody, it's me, it's me, it's ZAV, and welcome back to the Earthbound LP. Well, as you saw last time, we defeated the cops, and they are gonna let us go down to Tucson. Hey, aren't you Ness? Well, I got the okay from Chief Strong to let you through. Take care of yourself. You're doing well. Keep it up. The town map can check out all, or can be checked out at the library. You can also use the map in Tucson. It's really useful. You can use it in most towns. Alright, what do we got going on over in this house? That's mysteriously off to the side. Oh, we can get an exit mouse. I live rent free in this mouse's house. The mice are known as exit mice. They are very kind and boy are they fast. I really love these guys. I could take one, but I can't think of what I'm going to need one anytime soon. They kind of work like the escape rope in the Pokemon games. When you're in a dungeon, you just use them and they'll show you the way out. I'm thinking for now I'll pass. If I really need one, I'll just come back off screen. Bugs, I don't know if you can see them at this resolution. All the little bugs are afraid of us. Oh, these guys aren't, these guys aren't, screw it, mushroom. Oh, now we gotta fight too. I'm not even messing with that. Psy rocking now. Okay, we can handle that. Take them out. Please kill them both. Okay, what mushrooms can do is they can sprinkle their spores on you and a mushroom grows out of the top of your head. And after a while, oh, hold on. Sweet. Very good. I queue up by two. That's good. We got one more hit point. We got eight more uh, PP. That's great. And we got Shield Alpha. Bitchin'. That's gonna be really helpful later on. Anywho, in game, uh, in battle, the mushroom on your head after a while will cause you to attack yourself and I believe your allies, and it will also invert your controls. I'm not trying to talk. Sorry. Give me that hamburger. A uh, little useful feature in this game, you can off-screen the enemies and unload them, because I don't feel like fighting the mushrooms, because they are nothing but hassle. Yeah, we are not fighting you if we don't have to. Or at least, we're certainly not fighting two of them. Alright, Mole, what are you saying? Not enemy, just friendly Mole. I'll tell you how to distinguish between your friends and enemies. It's easy to tell an enemy just by looking at them. Enemies look like humans with weird colored faces. Excuse me. Beware of them. However, you can't get more powerful if you avoid your enemies, and I normally try not to. And I am going to get back the PP I just wasted. Excellent. Sorry, magic butterfly. Um, oh! Controls froze up and I can hear the music, and we're about to get the photographer. The picture's taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look into the camera. At, uh, ready, say, Fuzzy Pickles! Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Peace out, photographer, you creepy son of a bitch. Okay, we got... We'll check out the department store later. Um, I got stopped in front of here because it's a cycle shop. You can get a bicycle. It's absolutely worthless. It makes you go a little faster, but you can only ride it when you only have Ness. And pretty soon we get another party member, and we are never without another party member again. Sort of, just not as Ness. Until the, you know, yeah, no, we we're really not. Except for like one other part where we couldn't use it anyway. Now then, let's ask around a little bit. Chaos Theater. Hey, who are these guys? We, that's right, we, the Runaway Five. We are the Runaway Five. We're popular, but not rich. We're being cheated by this theater. We're really deep in debt. That sucks, buddy, I'm sorry. We may be popular, but that girl who lives at the house at the preschool is the talk of the town. I want to see her someday. You know, I don't think that's too bad of an idea. Go check them out real fast. Oh, stray dogs. And a cop wants to beat the shit out of me. Oh, uh, those dogs are secondary right now. Beat the shit out of the cop. Oh no, one hit point. Ow. Hey dog, piss off. You guys are next. Ow. I was waiting for me to miss. Okay. I'm gonna bludgeon these dogs real quick, and I'm gonna eat a hamburger. The hamburger I just picked up, in fact. Ninety-four, not bad. Just pretend you don't even care, Ness. On your way. No, 
Now here is the elementary school or the kindergarten. I can't remember what they said. Oh, it's preschool. That's right. We'll check that out in one second. First off, I want to go over here to the pizza place. Welcome to Mock Pizza. We don't sell pizza here, we only deliver. Let me give you our number so you can place an order sometime. The best pizza is Mock Pizza. The numbers. You got that? And now that we have that, we can order pizza anytime we're near a phone. It's kind of nice if you're out and about and just need a healing item. Alright, let's ask around. Come on, kid. When I grow up, I want to be just like Paula. Paula? Well, I wanted to play with Paula, but she's gone somewhere. Paula's like a mother to me. You may not be able to comprehend my emotions. I might have a baby face, but I possess the mind of an adult. I beg your pardon? That was random. Whistle, whistle anywhere. It, will, it makes me smile all the while. I'm Paula's mother. I'm busy taking care of these kids. You shouldn't worry about Paula. She has a guardian angel, it seems. I'm a little worried about Paula. So, you want to see Paula? Many come here to see her miraculous powers, but they're just leeches. So are you from a TV station or what? No. To meet you or not to meet you can only be decided by Paula. Paula said she would only meet with a boy named Ness. So you're Ness. You're the one that was in Paula's dream. You will save the world. Let me go call Paula. She doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. I'm sorry, could you come back later? I mean, yeah, I can. Well, that was strange. Um, let's get that butterfly. couple other places we need to go, but first off, Orange Kid we don't want to deal with. We're all about Apple Kid. Kinda living in squalor here, kid. Well, I have sort of neglected my doing my housework. I know it's a bit of a pigsty, but anyway, I'm Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so I may be kinda stinky. By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? If you do, can I have some? I guess I do. Um, yeah, this bread roll, I'm never gonna eat it. Thanks, you seem very nice. Uh, I wonder if maybe you'd like to invest some money in my inventions? How much? Thank you, Brian. Yes! 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 Uh, oh, excuse me. I mean, thank you. By the way, I could really use 200 bucks. I don't have it, but I guess I'll go get it for you. Thanks, kid. And we got a broken machine that will be useless to us for quite some time. Uh, don't fight. I didn't want to fight the hippies. I don't know why I didn't go around the sign. Now he's gonna get a shot at me for free. Brush his teeth and I solidify for a turn. He hit me really hard. That's what you get for brushing your teeth at me, you dickbag. Oh, let's go get some money and help this kid out. I don't really want to fight you at the moment, sir. And then we're going to go check out Birdland Park. After that's done, hit the ATM real quick, get that 200 bucks. Should be good for now. Cool. Alright. Um, pretty soon we're gonna check out the department store because I think I can get some better defensive items while we're here. Sidestep that. Alright, come on, waste some time. Get back down to Apple Kids. I should have seen how much I needed to withdraw before I got to him. But yeah, Orange Kid, if you invest in him, he will make something for you. It just breaks the NCUs. It, it's kind of worthless. Okay, Apple Kid. Yep. 
Oh yeah, here's 200 bucks. Thank you. I won't let you down. Hello, mouse. I'm a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. Excuse me, I'm yawning. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. Oh, sweet, I got the receiver phone. Oh, I must be in your way. Zip! Now, if I was not mistaken, in front of preschool, I believe I saw Paula's dad. Paul is not home yet. Everdred and Birdland Park might know something. Oh boy, now I'm really worried. Yes, yeah, so am I. Before I go ask anybody who works at a place called Birdland Park, I'm gonna go see about getting some upgrades. Yeah, sure, why not? I'll kick your ass real fast. Unassuming local guy. Easy enough. With a decent amount of experience. Okay. Let's go here. The Tucson Department Store. And head on upstairs and see what we can get. Bakery, burger joint. I'm probably gonna grab a burger and munch on that real fast too. Hello, I'd like to buy some. I might get that teddy bear too. Um, nothing super helpful at the moment. I am not buying the slingshot. I never buy the ranged weapons except for the guns for uh, Jeff. They all kind of suck. right now. I'll go from there. I'm gonna go buy a couple hamburgers. Head to Burglin Park. I say a couple because I'm gonna munch one before I even go there. Um, actually, give me one hamburger. And I'm gonna order a pizza. Might as well. I got the number. If it's not, you know, stupid expensive. Mock pizza. Hello, it's mock pizza. What would you like to order? Small pizza should do me. Cool. So let's munch on that hamburger. I'd just rather pop a healing item right now than go heal up at the hotel or waste a regular heal. So let's go check out Burglin Park real quick. Not sure how long it takes for that pizza to get to us. Let's ask around. Every is always watching a bird in the park. That's why you don't have to bribe any crooked cops. Classy. It makes me feel good to just sit and look at my pots. I like pots, but what I really like is a tool shop for sale sign. It's right here. Should I steal it? No. What are you selling? Hey, Mon, you gotta expand your mind and use this stuff creatively. Come on, buy some of my junk. What do you got? And... No. I'll take that copper bracelet. Yeah, I do. That's a good boost to my defense. Yeah, take my cheap one back. Thanks. Um, we should be good. This guy sells eggs, or you can steal them. Um, the eggs, I forget what they cost. I think they cost like 12 bucks. They hatch into chickens. You can sell the chickens and make $98 in profit. And it's a really easy way to make money at this point in the game if you need to. Who are you? Wahaha! <laughs> why don't we chat later after we've locked horns? I kinda want my pizza for this, I don't know why it never got to me, but that's okay. I'm not afraid of Everdread. Just beat the shit out of me. Eh, it's kinda hard though. I have no healing items. Shit, you bite. Um... Okay... Life up. Yeah, we went first, thank god. Okay, he's got a big grand he's to turn anyways. And he missed us. Ness, hit him. And that should be the end of that one. Why try me, Everdread? Hell yeah. Eh, kind of a weak level up. But that's okay.
Oh, this is my ankle. Anyways, I lost nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know that you want to find about a girl named Paula. She went off to a secret hideout in the peaceful Rust Valley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her, though. They said they were going to make Paula some sort of human sacrifice. But what? They were definitely hardcore strange. You know, she might be gone already. You'd better hurry. If you say Paula, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. Uh, okay. Uh, am I ever gonna get that pizza? Is that an O on my pizza? Alright, so a couple more things I want to do before we start heading that way. Sorry. First off, I am going to call home real quick just to try and stave off homesickness, which is a status you can get that will make Ness just kind of start skipping turns. Oh, Mom? Is that you, Ness? You called me back sooner than I thought. Everyone here is doing just fine. Oh, yes, Tracy, start Tracy started working part-time for Escargo Express. Here, I'll let you talk to her. And call me when you have some time. Oh, you don't have any free time? Well, here's Tracy. Hello, this is Escar Escargo Express. I'm very sorry, sorry, but all our delivery people are out serving other customers. We can't take any delivery orders right now. Please call back a little later. Alright, whatever, Tracy. I don't want to talk to you anyway. Um, yeah, we'll take a nap. Yeah, 50 bucks, not bad. Ness, I, Paula, I am Paula, can you hear me calling you? Help, come and help me. Uh, I don't know where I am. I can hear water running in the distance. Ness, please help me. All right, a little trick for this one. You can basically always get your first day here free by talking to this guy a whole bunch of times. What? So, what? Huh? Pardon? Jeez. Hmm? You're annoying. Dang me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you. Later days, pal. <laughs> it's so hot today. It rocks. Is it cold today? Oh, ho, ho. see ya. Here, get yourself a juice or something. Ka-ching. And it gives you 50 bucks. So yeah, your first day is basically free. Um, before we try to head off that way, I'll be cutting my time a little close. Oh! Paula! Where are you? It's time for a yummy piece of pie! He's freaking out, man. Um, I'm gonna buy some equipment for Paula. And then I'm going to call Esco Escargo Express to hold on to it for me for a while. So let's get a good chunk of our money out. Just get a thousand of it out for now. Cool. Um, goods. Okay. A few things we're gonna have to do. First thing, we need to go upstairs. I still want to buy it. I need a fry pan with a waste of money. And I'll take the ribbon. That's fine. Yes, I still want it. Thank you. No. This is going to take a couple of go-arounds here. We're going to call back the Escargo Express. Because calling home and getting a hold of Tracy the first time gives you Escargo Express. They will do with your extra crap. Oh, they can't right now. Oh, that's why my pizza. Shit. Um. Just drop the cold remedy on me. Probably gonna need it soon now that I dropped it, though. You know, I've never ordered a pizza, and this might be why. I forgot how slow they are. going to do a 
Paul's dad. Paul's not home yet. Ever dread and burden of heart might have. Oh. You already said that. See if Apple Kid has anything for us. I highly doubt he does yet. And I know this is starting to drag a little bit. I had plans here. I mean, I don't plan on spending too much time wandering around too, so. Okay, I'm getting. I'm getting annoyed. We're going back to the pizza place real fast. There it is. Hello, my pizza delivery. Here's your pizza, sir. That'll be 48 bucks. Yeah, I got it. Um. Good. So how much does the pizza heal for? A lot. That's good to know. We'll hang on to that. And now we're going to call the Escargo Express and get rid of some of this stuff. And then I'm going to get the cheap bracelet and get rid of that to Escargo Express as well. Oh, we just need to get to some place with a phone real fast. And I think I'm going to call this part early, and in the next part I'm going to head straight for Paula. That's the, one of the big issues in this game is item management. As you see, you have a very, very limited inventory. Okay, Escargo Express. Hello, Escargo Express. Oh, is that you, Ness? Big bro! It's me, Tracy. I'm working part-time for Escargo Express. What can I do for you? Take some of my crap. Yes, I do. I'll send someone over immediately to pick it up. You always need to be outside for this to work, or eventually they, they'll just give up on you. Just, just stand around. It only takes a few seconds for these. I don't think you gotta be moving. I think it's just... Yep, there we go. Hello, Escargo Express. Your delivery here is 18 bucks. I can cover the bill easily. I want you to take a fry pan. And the ribbon. And the broken machine. Yep, that's all. Um, I should go get the... I'll go get the cheap bracelet, too, because Paula's gonna need some good equips. That's all there is to it. And really, I just find it way simpler once you get her uh, to just have this stuff already instead of having to backtrack clear to Tucson to get it, and then go back to where you were and grind her up a few levels. It's a waste of time. Yep, expand my mind. Just give me another bracelet. Or copper bracelet, not a cheap bracelet. No, because I already have one. Okay, we're going to do that. I'm going to buy a teddy bear, and then we're going to send this bracelet out, and then I'm going to call the episode. Do you need to see me doing all this? Probably not. And now that I'm thinking about where I'm going next, I should have kept the cold remedy, because there's an enemy that can deflect you with a cold. Why would you be there? The teddy bear item... Wait. I think there's one at Paula's house. Let's check that real quick before I waste the money. I, I know I've got plenty of it right now, but why waste it if you don't have to? Move. Yeah, I think I can go in Paula's house and up in her room there's a teddy bear. I'm gonna try that real quick. The teddy bear um, will siphon off some attacks from enemies. It can't take a whole lot of hits before it's gone, but on long journeys, it can help out. Um, it doesn't stay useful for very long. It doesn't have a whole lot of hit points. And you'll, you'll eventually get to enemies that just one-shot it, so you kind of quit wasting your time. What? Why so secret of back here? Oh. Got the teddy bear. And you'll see it behind you. You're basically dragging the thing by the arm. Alright, we'll call Escargo Express one, one more time. I will go ahead and... I will go ahead and send out Paula's bracelet to be held onto for a little while. And... First off, come here. And, you know, now that I'm really thinking about it... I don't even think that's a necessity for me to show you guys, so I'm going to go out in front of the store, and then I'm going to save the game, or then I'm going to shut the game down. Because you've already watched me use the Escargo Express once, and you'll see it again when I use it to pick stuff up. Or maybe you won't, because I'll probably go straight to grinding with Paula after that, so you don't have to watch me waste my time on that. So that's going to be all for this part. I know it was kind of a do-nothing part, but Earthbound's kind of slow to start. But that's all for this part, so thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time.